Manifestation is something that I swear by. Seriously, this time last year, this time last year, January the 21st last year, I was living in Ghana, as I'm, I still am in Ghana, that's where I live. And I was living in this little room, yeah, had a tiny little kitchen, a bathroom that was rigged with these damp flies, yeah. I had a mattress on the floor, like literally a mattress. And in my living room, all I had was a dinner table and two chairs. That was it. I didn't even have a cooker. I was like, I was living, like, I was just like struggling. But manifestation saved my life. So if you want to know how I did it, continue to watch this video. Just text, I know it's a toss up, oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up. Oh, Manifesting is something that we just naturally do. Anything that we have in our life, we manifested it, believe it or not. It's just that we're not doing it consciously. Say, if you decide that you want the cup of coffee. Usually within an hour or so, you will have that cup of coffee because you manifested that coffee, believe it or not. Or sometimes you could say, I want something, and then all of a sudden someone brings it to you. That is manifestation, but we do it unconsciously. We do it all the time. So we manifest good things and we manifest bad things. But what I do and what I talk about is conscious manifestation, doing it with intention. As I said, this time last year, I was living in just like like what some of the worst conditions. The place that I was living in had damp, like all my clothes were infected with damp. I had to throw away loads of my shoes, loads of my clothes. These were all clothes that I brought back from England. At that time, I wasn't working. I didn't have no income. Like to this day, when I think back to how I was surviving, I can't tell you. I cannot tell you how I was eating month to month. I cannot tell you. Like when I think about it now, I just I don't even know how it was happening, but it was happening. But I decided that I wanted my life to change and I started I think it was Christmas two thousand and twenty one. I come across somebody on YouTube who was all about manifestation and I started really getting into it and I started I started to understand it and kind of just like find different referencing about it. So there was someone called Neville Goddard, there was somebody called Abdullah who was meant to be the the starter, the founder of manifestation or who documented it kind of thing so I started really doing a lot of research into that and then I just started I just thought you know what if they can do it I can do it too because I was even part of a Facebook group and in the Facebook group these were people who used to you know write in their manifestations their techniques and these talk about you know they got their manifestation they say they got it let's think if they can do it, I can definitely do it. So there are many techniques when it comes to manifestation. Like Neville Goddard teaches that the best way to manifest is to, you know, see like see and feel what you want. So he talks about going into like a more or less a sleepy state, so where you're just about to fall asleep, but you're thinking about your manifestation and basically you should start to actually feel yourself there and just start and just repeat your many, your affirmations over and over again. So what I did was I started by scripting. So I, so I knew exactly what I wanted. So my main goals was I wanted to be I wanted to be in a relationship. I wanted to be settled down. I wanted love basically. I wanted money and I wanted to be living comfortably. So what I did was I wrote down affirmations. So I would write down affirmations such as. For money, for example, I am a master at manifesting. Money flows to me like water. I don't have to work hard for money. I have a lavish, steady and dependable income consistent with um, consistent with integrity. Yeah. And I used to just sit down, like say of a night, I used to wake up in the morning and I used to dedicate five minutes to it. So I used to sit on my bed with my script, put the time on and be like, I am a master at manifesting. Money comes to me easily and frequently. I receive money in my bank out of the blue. Money is the easiest thing for me to manifest. I have a lavish, steady, and dependable income consistent with mutual uh, consistent with mutual benefits and I can't remember what it was. Consistent with integrity and mutual benefits. That was it. And I used to say that over and over and over and over again. And I used to have one for um, 
I have one for my apartment. I'm living in a my new apartment. It is beautiful. I have this, I have that. You know, it has two bedrooms and all that stuff. So I used to just script that and just say it over and over again. And then I used to have one for my relationships. I used to be just, I used to say like I am in a loving relationship. I have now met my my husband to be. He he knew he loved me from the day he met me. All this stuff, like literally, um, he's a man of my dreams. He treats me like a queen. We are now engaged to be married. And I used to say this over and over and over again. And there was actually one more thing that I missed out, self-concept. The self-concept is basically how we look at ourselves. So to say that when your self-concept is high, then things would naturally come to you. So say like, you no, know, you them people who just, they just ooze confidence. You know, they ooze like, they will tell you that they are, you know, they can get any man they want. They will tell you that anything they want, they get. They will tell you, you know, they are the most beautiful girl in the world. And they believe it, they believe it. And what they say, they get, they attract that into their life because they regard themselves highly. And most people, it's the opposite. So a lot of people see themselves as, oh, I can't do it. Nothing ever works out for me. So literally, you are, manif you are manifesting that kind of thing. I tried it out with self-concept where I was just saying to myself, I am beautiful. Everyone treats me like a queen. I am a goddess. And literally, I went to the gym one day and this man says to me, you are a goddess. Another man said to me, you're a queen, you are. Like, serious, I'm not even joking. Things I used to think about myself, it just started happening. You know, I used to think like men put me on a pedestal, men always treat me like a queen, you know, anything I want I get, things come to me, anything I want comes to me easily, so stuff like that, that was my self concept and I used to do that all the time as well. Another technique that I used to use was I used to um, record my voice, so I used to record my voice on something called the Parrot app and I used to listen to it at night so it would go into my subconscious mind because Basically, our subconscious mind doesn't know what's real and what's not. So anything that we tell it and we program, pro program it with will naturally come to light. Seriously. So it's just like with vision boarding, like the, the say you put your pictures on the vision board and you know, what you put on there will come to light. But for me, vision boarding doesn't really work because I feel like you just look at it, whereas I believe that you have to get into the state so as you can see i am engaged yeah and i swear to you around i think i started doing it like around january like i said around january i used to visualize my ring and never got out taught of a technique that his wife did and she said that she used to feel the ring on her hand she used to feel it and i like, seriously i used to go to bed and i used to close my eyes and I could feel a ring on my finger, like I'd be touching it with my fingers. I could feel it, I could feel the weight of the ring on my finger. Lo and behold, in July last year, I got engaged. <laughs> I got engaged, I got engaged. Listen, people, I got the apartment of my dreams. People, I started receiving money out of the blue. I'm not working, like, but life is, life is good, life is fine. So all this understand? just came from me consciously manifesting like I said I used to do it in the morning so I used to wake up and say my affirmations for love my affirmations for money and my affirmations for my apartment for five minutes each yeah and then I used to do it in the afternoon because at this point I had no job I was in the house all the thing the only thing I used to do was go to the gym so I used to do it in the afternoon mid-afternoon I used to sit at the table and do it or sometimes I used to lie down and fall asleep doing it they used to do it at night before I went to bed. And then I'd choose an affirmation to listen to while I slept. So usually it would be my self-concept one. And I'd just play it all night long. Night long. And actually, I used to dream and hear it in my dreams. Do you know what I mean? So that showed that it was going into my subconscious mind. And it just all happened. And the thing is, one of the main things is, I didn't watch the timing. I wasn't actually looking for... I wasn't even... I was doing it. But I wasn't like, oh my gosh, it hasn't come yet. When's the apartment coming? When's the money coming? When's this coming? When's that? I didn't do that. It's just that I just lived a life. I just let keep. I just lived life. But I made sure that those things were main, like a main part of my of my daily routine. Those were the things I had to do every single day. 
every single day I had to do them. And then things have started happening without me even realising it. I didn't watch the time, I just let it come to me. So the main thing really is just to be consistent. Be consistent, just keep on doing it. Don't get weary, don't get sad if you don't see it come straight away. But it will come, you've got to just believe and just do it. But be consistent, consistency is key. Consistency is key, I'm telling you. So, what should you do once, the manif once you receive your manifestation? So, once I receive my manifestations, I've just manifested different things. So, once I was in the relationship, I started manifesting. I started just doing like scripting in regards to how I want my relationship to be, how I want my partner to feel for me. Do you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And just kind of, because like, it's just like with you no know, women who say, oh, they believe that every man cheats. Because they've programmed that into their, their, their subconscious, they usually will be cheated on because they actually believe it, kind of thing. I believe, like, but all you got to do is flip it. No man cheats, like, I never get cheated on. Don't even pull it in your vocabulary, don't even think about it. Just think that my husband treats me like a queen, you know, he loves, I'm the only woman he loves, I'm the love of his life. If you just think that naturally, then that's what it will be, I'm telling you. And my partner tells me all the time, I'm the love of his life. All the things I think he tells me. And it's not because like, you know, you know, I'm doing, it's, it's not no crazy witchcraft or anything. It's just that in life, anything that we want or anything that we think we become, my partner's very much, he's very much like, he thinks positive about anything. So he'll be like, oh, next week I'm gonna have this. Like say something, Something, say if we've ordered something or we've, we've, we've applied for something, he'll be like, oh yeah, but when we get the thing next week, we'll go here. Like, he just talks like he already is. My fiance is very, very successful, and I've always watched how he talks. He talks everything in, into existence. Like, he would speak things that haven't happened, like he's already here. So, that's what we have to do. We have to, like, be delusional, so to speak. Be delusional and everything that you want will just come to you trust me i am living proof <laughs> and one last thing don't try and manifest too many things at one time like i said to you i manifested my man my partner my apartment and money i was focused on them for a while once i got them then like i said i just really did but don't just try and manifest money a partner a house a car a dog no, don't try and do that. Just try and manifest a couple of things at once. And try to start with the small things. Like try and manifest like, you know, a phone call. Manifest a hundred. I used to manifest like a hundred pound a time sometimes. Like I needed like a hundred pound one time when I didn't have no money. The next day I got the hundred pound. I needed a flight to England to go to my grand's funeral. Somebody bought my flight for me. Do you know what I mean? Like I started manifesting small things as well. And once they, the small things start happening, then it makes it easy for the big things to come because you feel more confident in it. So, let's take each day as it comes. Don't rush it. Don't get anxious. Don't get worried. Don't just keep on watching the time. Don't time watch. Just allow it to flow because anything that we want in life, we can have. We already have it. We've just got to just take it. You know, just take it kind of thing. We already have whatever we want kind of thing. It's just, it's just allowing the universe to release it to us that's all it is and like i said a lot of us we block our blessings so tell me have you ever done manifestation before and if yes what have you manifested and how long did it take <laughs> that is the end of my video so what i'm going to say now is don't forget to like comment and subscribe and the most important thing is love thyself <laughs>